Discussion on Echocardiogram in Epstein's Anomaly of Tricuspid Valve Parasternal short axis view in Epstein's Anomaly showing the dilated right ventricular outflow tract AO Iota LA Left Atrium RA Right Atrium Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Parasternal long axis view in Epstein's anomaly showing the dilated right ventricular outflow tract LV left ventricle. Dilated RVOT can be appreciated clinically as a wavy pulsation in the left parasternal region which is better seen than felt. There is no sustained heave as with left parasternal heave of right ventricular hypertrophy. Dilated RVOT is a feature seen in right ventricular endomyocardial fibrosis as well. In that case, there is no displacement of tricuspid valve. Instead, there is fibrosis of right ventricular apex. Apical four chamber view in Epstein's anomaly showing the grossly displaced septal tricuspid leaflet. Normal distance between the septal attachments of septal tricuspid leaflet and anterior mitral leaflet is only about 5 mm. The portion of the right ventricle proximal to the displaced septal tricuspid leaflet is considered to be atrialized with a pressure tracing showing atrial pattern and an electrode catheter showing ventricular activity. This is known as Hernandez sign. Apical four chamber view in Epstein's anomaly showing severe tricuspid regurgitation. Here are a couple of journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.